So this year, Apple releases the AirPods Max. We expected it to be AirPods Studio, but what's in the name? Anyways, when Apple got rid of the aux hole, uh, they introduced the first AirPods. Now after that, they got the AirPods Pro. And almost everyone bought them. I mean, people who were Android users switched to iPhones just so that uh, they could have that perfect AirPods experience because AirPods are not fully compatible with Androids and that's expected. It's Apple we're dealing with. Anyways, so people were expecting uh, the third gen I, uh, the third gen AirPods in the early 2021. And instead we got an overpriced over ear headphone by the same company who made the Beats, which were garbage. But still, I mean, they even made AirPods Pro and that had pretty good sound quality. I mean, I've used it once, so it's pretty good. But it's a sad story actually. Um, once I used my AirPods, I see I was I was sitting in a car and I was listening to AirPods. I was listening to a song, uh, and what happened actually? Uh, car had a bump, and it's not like the AirPods came out of my ear on their own. My hand hit my ear, and one of the AirPods fell down and broke under the wheel of the car. So I'm stuck with one airport only and I'm not exactly going to use just one of it. So I bought a new, uh, uh, I bought some other headset instead. Not because any specific reason, but I, I bought the Bose Quite Comfort 35. So, yeah. Okay, enough talk. Now let's get into the specs. So this thing has the Apple designed dynamic driver, active noise cancellation, transparency mode, and blah, blah, blah. The thing I am interested in is spatial audio. So we remember that the AirPods Pro would use the sensors of your connected device like your iPhone or iPad um, to, give, to, uh, to give something like a surround sound system. So this, so that's that. That's what I'm interested in. Talking about sensors, this thing has a ton of sensors. This has an optical sensor, position sensor, case detect sensor, accelerometer, gyroscope sensor. Not needed at all, but I think we only need the case detect sensor. Out of all the unnecessary sensors, all, hardly anyone is going to use. But so many sensors kind of explains why this headset is something about 59,000 here in the India. I mean, come on, dude, spend 10k more and you can get an iPhone 12 mini. Leave the iPhone 12 mini. You can get an iPhone SE. You can get an iPhone 11. You can get the OnePlus 8. Come on. And if you buy the best budget phone, Redmi Note 8A, you can buy it like 10 of them. Come on, dude. Now let's get into the headset. When you buy a headset at this price range, it will only be because of the best in class audio quality. So this thing has an H1 chip in each ear cup and nine microphones. So we don't know how that will sound like because I mean, it's not out yet, but it will be on sale in India at 15th December here in India. And also, we loved how portable the, uh, the, you know, the original AirPods and the AirPods Pro were. But, I mean, the case was so small, so pocketable. The case and the AirPods first gen and Pro would encourage you to travel with it. But this thing also has a case and looks like a purse, according to me. Because of the price alone, I probably won't buy this. I don't think I will ever need this. Anyways, that's 
it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe so you don't miss any video. Uh, subscribing is free. Just to make it clear, right? So yeah, uh, I have got about from 22 subscribers to 23 subscribers. So whoever one subscriber was there, shout out to you, my friend. Uh, please comment to this video if you're watching it that you are subscribed. So uh, I can give you a shout out in the next video if you want a shout out. Okay, thanks for watching and bye. Please like, share and subscribe to and share it to your friends who are tech savvy and are using headsets a lot. Okay then. Bye.